Hi, today is Monday the 22nd of April. It is about 12 o'clock now. Alice is at her grandparents today so I can have a bit of a rest because I have been struggling the last few days. And so they have took her today. Um, we're gonna have her for a few hours and then I'm gonna bring her home. But yeah, I actually lost some of my mucus plug this morning, which means he could come this week. And I have been having a bit of stomach ache this morning, so I'm hoping he doesn't come today. I also really hope he doesn't come Wednesday, Thursday, because my parents are away. And they're supposed to be looking after Alice for us, so I'm not sure what we'd do if I go into labour this week. Because I'm not sure who's going to have Alice, because she only will really go with my parents, no one else. So, yeah, I'm a little bit worried that he might come this week and they're going to be away. So, anyway... I'm going to have a little bit of a rest because I'm feeling a bit tired, I'm also a bit hungry and just see what happens. I'm praying he doesn't come today, but we shall see because I am only 34 weeks and 5 days. I'm not going to be 35 weeks till Wednesday and Alice came at 35 weeks and 3 days, so I was hoping he wouldn't come till around then. So anyway, I'm going to have a rest and I'll try and get back to you later. So I'm just about to have some lunch. I've got a nice ham sandwich. I'm just going to have leftover cake and biscuit from yesterday. And I'm just going to have a packet of crisps as well. Not the most healthiest of lunches, but it is Easter. So, so yeah, I'm going to enjoy this lunch and I'm just going to rest, I think, today and not do anything too strenuous because I don't want this baby coming today. Hi. So it is actually now 8 o'clock. I'm really sorry. I've not filmed anything all day but i've just felt a bit off today and uh, i've spent all day editing last week's weekly vlog oh careful alice little alice has just come home i've just got her ready for bed i'll just show you because she looks so cute she's in like a little marie bodysuit for bed because it's summer and it's hot so i've put her in this one and she just looks very cute so here she is she's all home shall we show them what you've got on alice where's marie cat so it's just got marie cat it says, if all else fails, take a nap. Yeah, because it's very, very hot today, isn't it? So you didn't need a full sleep suit. It's very warm, so she's all ready for bed now. Um, she's usually in bed by now, but she's quite awake. But I think I'm going to go and get her a bottle and see if she'll have a nap with me before Lawrence gets home. Lawrence hopefully will be home at 9 o'clock, so in about an hour. So yeah, I'm going to get her a bottle now, try and get to bed, and I think I'll get back to you tomorrow now. Hi, today is Tuesday the 23rd of April. It's actually one o'clock now. Alice has just had her lunch, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. You did it to me out, you tell us what you say. She's just had her lunch. She had a little snacky lunch, didn't you? She's eaten it all up. Can we just change her little outfit because she got her other one all messy? And this was from the Disney store last year. We got it in the sale for four pounds. And it's nice and warm today, so we thought we'd put you in it, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, oh, no, not in your mouth, remember? Ah, uh, no. So she's doing some colouring, aren't you? Uh, no, not in your mouth. I'm putting that dummy back in then. No. All right, at least the dummy stops her from eating them. We're going to do some drawing, aren't we? Ta, for mummy. Thank you. A two for mummy. Thank you, we're going to do some lovely drawing, aren't we? So yeah, we're going to do some drawing. Ah, uh, no! Put that dummy in. Yeah, and I've got this one. I've got for Easter, so we're going to see if she wants to do some drawing with this as well. Get that out of your mouth or you are not doing any drawing. She's being cheeky, aren't you? You're being cheeky for mummy. So yeah. <laughs> no sign of any baby thank god for that so yeah i don't know if you i said yesterday about my some of my mucus plug went and i was a bit worried that he might come this week but so far nothing so hopefully that remains till next week because my parents are going away tomorrow and it's mom's 60th birthday on friday and we're having a little meal and stuff for her so yeah hopefully he doesn't come till next week Oh, you want them out? Should we get them out and we do some colour? Right, I'm going to help her do this and I'll get back to you later. There we go, so Alice is colouring her little happy Easter picture with a bunny, aren't you? 
with your crayons. So it is now three o'clock. Alice is only just taking her nap now. So yeah, um, hopefully she'll sleep for about an hour. It's about four, maybe five, and then I can get her dinner. But yeah, she's just fast asleep. We've done lots of playing. The house is a mess. So yeah, I'll just show you. She is fast asleep. It's all the mess we've made. I need to tidy it up. But I need a rest. She's tired me out. Hi, so it's now quarter to six. I've just spent a couple of hours doing some editing on the computer and I've just made Alice and me my dinner. We're having sausage and mash. I'm hoping Alice is gonna eat the sausage because currently she's had one piece of sausage and now she's just eating the mash. So usually if she just has sausage on her own, she'll eat it, but when it's mashed there, she gobbles up the mash. Here's Alice's dinner. You've got to eat up your sausage too. Do you want some gravy? Yeah? And there's mine. Hi, so it is now actually 11 o'clock. Um, after Alice's dinner, we have a little bit of play. And then, yeah, I tried to get her to sleep. And she didn't actually fall asleep till about 10 o'clock, I think. Half nine, 10 o'clock. She just did not want to go to sleep tonight, which is really annoying because obviously I'm here on my own. Because um, Lawrence is working late tonight, so she didn't get to bed till she sleeps all then. And then I was stuck on the couch with really. her, I couldn't get up. So I ended up staying down there for a little bit. I eventually carried her up, managed to get up, carried her up to bed. So she's fast asleep in her cot now. And Lawrence isn't due home for at least another hour, I think half 11, 12. So I'm just going to go to bed and try and get some sleep because she has tired me out so I'm so tired today. So yeah, I'm going to have a sleep because when Lawrence gets home he's going to want food and stuff and I, I don't want to stay up so I'm going to go to bed now and sleep so I will get back to you in the morning. Good way you huh? have. Big boy. So it is Wednesday, the twenty fourth of April, and little baby Leo decided to come early. 
Um, So here is my dinner. I've got a chicken roast, and whole crumble custard, and apple juice. Wash your hands. Mm -hmm. What do you think you might be best doing? Just coming on this. <coughs> oh boy. I'm losing my voice. Huh? <coughs> I'm losing my voice a bit. Yeah. <coughs> There you go, happy mummy. <laughs> Mummy's been waiting to see you. <laughs> there you go, waving bye bye. Oh, do you want to wave bye bye to him? We're going to get you some lunch. Yeah, we're going to get you some lunch. Do you want to wave bye bye? Bye bye. Say bye bye, we'll see you later. Yeah. Alice, where's mummy? Alice, more. More. More grape. There you go. She likes looking out that window, doesn't she? Can you see lots of people? Alice, what's out there? What can you see?
Okay, come and have your bottle with mommy. Yeah, come on then. Have your bottle. So it's now Saturday the 27th of April. I thought I'd better explain what has gone on this week because I probably filmed a lot of little clips and they probably don't all make sense. And I haven't really had any time to speak or do anything because obviously it's been such a mad, crazy rush the last few days and such a lot has been going on. But if you don't know, Wednesday, what day was Wednesday? The 20... Uh, <laughs> the 24th, um, early hours in the morning, my waters broke. They broke at about 4 a.m. I think, because that's when I woke up and realised. So obviously, because I was only 35 weeks, I had to ring the hospital, and they said, "Come straight in because you're only 35 weeks." Um, at that point, I wasn't having any contractions, but by the time my dad got to our house, um, I was having contractions. Um, so we quickly got Alice to my parents' house, got her settled, and then we went on, me and Lawrence went to the hospital and my dad drove us. So when we got to the hospital, I was checked and I was already three centimetres dilated, so they moved me straight to the delivery suite. And then um, I said, as soon as I got there, they asked what my what pain relief was. I said, I wanted an epidural. I wanted one as soon as possible because that's what I'd been suggested would be best for me because of my weight and everything anything went, went wrong at least that's in there and it wouldn't need to be put to sleep or anything so um she said oh, let's wait a little bit to make sure you're definitely in um, active labor so I waited a little bit asked and they said there's no one available waited a bit longer asked again no one available and then um i was in absolute agony this labor was awful compared to alice's it was so painful and like, I just didn't get my epidural. I got to, I think, this labor was also so much quicker than Alice's. Alice's was 15 hours. This one ended up being about four hours, I think. So just as I got to about nine and a half centimeters, my cervix wouldn't open anymore. And um, also the anesthetist only came about that point and it was too late to have the epidural which I was not happy about and um, they took some blood from the baby to check his oxygen levels because his heart rate went down a bit and his oxygen levels had gone low so they needed to get him out straight away so I was rushed to fear so they were going to see if they could get him out with some forceps but because his oxygen levels had gone low they needed to get him out straight away so I ended up having to have an emergency c-section and because it was an emer proper emergency, I had to be put asleep because there wasn't time to get an epidural in or anything like that, because he needed to come straight out. Um, so yeah, I was put to sleep, which meant I didn't see the birth. Lawrence wasn't allowed in because it had to be done so quick. So neither of us got to see the birth, unfortunately. So yeah, he was born at 9.36, I think. And yeah, um, Obviously, he was five weeks early, so he was having trouble breathing. He had apparently had fluid on the lungs and stuff, so he was been in the um, NICU ward. Um, he's still in there now. Um, me and Lawrence are actually on the ward now. Um, we've got a room on the ward, so we can be with him. But yeah, so it was all it was all a bit a bit crazy and. Um, so yeah, after he was born, obviously I was asleep, so 
I woke up on the, I think it's the livery ward, um, and Lawrence told me what happened and where he was, because obviously he wasn't with me, because he wasn't well enough, which is a bit upsetting to know that he wasn't there, but at least he was being looked after. So yeah, I spent how many days on the delivery ward? Uh, this day, two days. What day did I get here? Maybe three days. It's so hard to remember. I spent last night here, which would have been Friday night. So I must have had Wednesday and Thursday on delivery ward, and then I got discharged from delivery ward. I think midday. Thursday? Was it Friday? No, midday Friday. I got discharged from the delivery ward and we were supposed to be going home because they said they had no rooms on the NICU ward for us. So we'd have to go home and just come back and see the baby when we can. But then when we came to NICU ward, they said that they had a bed the next day. So we could stay the next day, but then they wanted to start feeding Leo because he'd been being fed through a tube, just um, like I think sugar water and stuff. But we wanted to start giving him either breast milk or formula, and I wanted to give him breast milk. So they um, saw if they could have a room. Spoke to the um, breastfeeding midwife, and she managed to find us a room. So luckily, we didn't have to go home. We could stay here, and I can try. I was I've been trying to establish breastfeeding with him, which he yeah so. S sometimes he'll have it, sometimes he won't. He's exactly like Alice was, where he'll suck for a little bit, get tired, stop. So you never know how much he's having. Also, I think I didn't mention he had jaundice as well. Like Alice did, it wasn't as severe as Alice's jaundice, but he did have some. And he was under phototherapy lights for a bit as well, which he's fine now, he's off those. But that can make them tired and sleepy and struggle to feed. Um, he has been drinking, well, we give him, I've been expressing, so he's been having breast milk from the bottle as well, so we know how much he's getting. So he's been having about 20 to 30 mils every three hours of that. So I think, really, he's pretty fine now. He's off all, all the tubes and everything, and he's off the phototherapy lights. He's just getting him to feed properly now. So I'm hoping in a few days he'll be going home because he's really, he's just like Alice was with his feeding and that's the only thing, he's getting him fed and stuff. So I'm hoping in the next couple of days he will go home because he's no longer in an incubator cot, he's just in a normal cot. Um, so yeah, it's just the feeding really we need to get um, down and then hopefully we can take him home. But yeah, it's been a crazy few days. I think maybe the stress of Tuesday might have brought on the labour because obviously um, I don't think I'm feeling that much on Tuesday because it was such a stressful day because Lawrence was doing a 12 hour shift so it was just me and Alice for 12 whole hours and she was a bit fussy that day as well. I was allowed to get her breakfast, her lunch, her dinner and put her to bed which was hard work because it's so hard to get up with her when she falls asleep on me and stuff and yeah. I just found that day quite stressful and then that night, well early morning, that some waters broke so yeah, I <laughs> don't know if it was a stress from that day or not but anyway he's here and he is healthy now and yeah everything's good. Alice has been staying with my parents, she has come to see Leo, um, she was a bit scared of him I think at first because when she first came to see him he had all his wires on and everything, he was an incubator but she waved at him and everything, which was really cute. I don't know if I've got a video of it or anything. I might have, I'll have to see. But we're going to properly introduce her maybe when we get home and stuff, just because, um, yeah. So she can properly hold him and stroke him and stuff. And hopefully we'll film that and stuff so you can see her properly getting introduced to him because she wasn't able to really see him through the cotton stuff. But yeah, so she has been, she's been here. We've had cuddles and stuff. Lawrence has been home with her uh, on the first night. He didn't stay, obviously, because I was on the delivery ward. So when I was on the delivery ward, he couldn't stay. So he had to get home. So he was at home with Alice then. So he's only been away from Alice last night. And tonight he's going to be away from Alice because he's going to stay here. Um, so, But she's really happy with my parents. Also, Thursday was my mum's 
60th birthday and on Friday was when we were all supposed to be going out for a meal for her birthday. Obviously me and Lawrence were here with the baby so we didn't go but they had Alice so Alice went with them so she um, had a lovely time. There's a little clip of her having some of the birthday cakes. I might insert that now so you can see. She's like cute. And he said, <laughs> So she had a nice time. So she's been really happy with my parents. Um, yeah. Alice, 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 well, my parents actually were away on the Wednesday and Thursday for my mum's birthday. So on those days, Alice actually had to stay with my brother and my sister, which I was a bit nervous about because she'd never been left on her own with them. And I was worried if they would be able to get to sleep and stuff, but they did really well with her. So we managed to get to sleep, they fed her, looked after her. So thanks to them because they did a really good job with her. Um, my brother's 22. And I was worried if he'd be able to look after her, but she absolutely loves my brother, so she had a great time with him and stuff. So, yeah, I was really happy that they were able to look after her. I was just worried she might be a bit upset being left with them because she'd never been left with them on her own before, but luckily she was fine. And she's had a great time with Nana and Grandad the last couple of days, so, yeah. And tomorrow, um, she's staying with my mum and dad again. Um, I don't think they're gonna bring her here again tomorrow because they've got stuff they need to get done so i think lawrence is going to head home for a little bit tomorrow see alice and then come back and that's what we're going to do so yeah that's what's happened so far i'll show you the room that we're currently in so we're on a, a little room on the NICU ward where parents can stay um so yeah me and lawrence are staying here it's really nice it's much better than being on the ward. I hated being on the ward. So having this little room is really nice and me and Lawrence can stay together. Alice can't stay in here, but we do have accommodation where you can stay with your children if you need to, which is across the way. But there wasn't any room in there. And because he said he's probably not gonna be in here too long, there was no point trying to get us a room over there. So we're happy here. Alice is happy with her parent, uh, my grand, with her grandparents. So, yeah. So I'll just quickly show you the room. Okay, so this is our room. Just excuse the mess. This is all my pillows because I'm just really uncomfortable. Obviously, because I've had a C-section, it's quite sore still. I've got a wheelchair here because sometimes it's just too, too sore to walk in the morning to where Leo is. So Lawrence pushes me. This is the breast pump that I've got. So I'm trying to express every three hours for him. So if he can't breastfeed, he's got some breast milk to have so he doesn't have to have formula. That's what I've been trying to do. Uh, we've got a little bathroom in here. So it's just the bathroom. And there's a shower here. So I'm gonna be sitting on that seat for my shower because it's just more comfortable. And yeah, that's the little room. Got a wardrobe here. Obviously because I'm a C-section I've got a lot of meditation to take. Lawrence has to stab me with injections. I think it's all in here. It's a bit of a mess but this is all my all my medication. So I've got to have fragment injections once a day for six weeks and stuff. And I've got painkillers and stuff like that as well. So yeah, that's the little room. This is Lawrence's bed down here. This pulls out. Lawrence sleeps down there. So yeah, it's just a nice little room. And it's nice that we get to stay with him as well. Because obviously he needs feeding throughout the night so we go and feed him and stuff. So Lawrence is currently just nipped out to get us some food. He's just nipped to KFC because I just fancied a nice takeaway meal just because hospital food hasn't been that great and I'm not a very I'm quite a fussy eater as well so I'm looking forward to having a nice KFC today love from the hospital food so he's gone to get that and we're gonna eat that and then I'm gonna express some milk for Leo and then I'm gonna go and feed him and then we're gonna try and get some sleep we're both absolutely knackered exhausted so I think we definitely try and need to get some sleep before Leo has his next feed um, you don't have to go and feed them the nurses will 
obviously feed them but obviously I want to do it because when we're home we've got to do it anyway so I'm gonna try and make sure that we do his night feeds and stuff as long as we wake up because we are tired so yeah just thought I'd update you all um, here's our KFC treating ourselves maybe we should do like that maybe treating should. ourselves aren't we yeah we've been bad yeah <laughs> cause but Special circumstances, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, got some nice KFC. Gonna eat this, then I'm gonna express some milk for Leo. I'm gonna have a little rest. Lawrence has been a star all week, haven't you? If you say so. He has. He's been running around, he's been so busy. Not stopped for five minutes. So he's been amazing, I think. Wonderful husband, aren't you? <laughs> Yeah, sort of crashed. Yeah, you had a little crash, didn't you? Fell asleep. Yeah. He's, he's just not stopped all week. He's not really had much sleep. And when he did go home, he had to look after Alice, didn't he? So he's been very busy. She was good. Yeah. She's with her grandparents. Yeah, she's been with her grandparents, so she's happy. So, yeah. I'm going to eat this. going to express some milk. Then I'm going to go and see Leo and then baby get some sleep, aren't we? So we're just about to set up the breast pump to do some pumping for Leo. I've got all the stuff in there sterilised. Lauren's going to put it together now. Go <laughs> on then. That's what it needs. Do it there. I milk the show. I'm gonna pump for 15 minutes and see how much we get and then it's done and when we go and put it in the fridge for him for when he needs it so I'm gonna do this Lawrence is gonna nip to the shop because we've got nothing for lunch to, uh, tomorrow and then we're gonna head to bed aren't we so that is the oh, day Leo first. oh we have to feed Leo okay, as well we before to, we go to see bed him. and give him a cuddle so, so I've expressed the milk for Leo now once you've done it you have to put these red labels on which say um, how much is in it and when you expressed and then you have to stick these labels on so they know that they've not been opened so don't reuse them so there's two here there's 25 mils in both so that should do it for the next two beats hopefully ah, Leo's having his bottle with daddy aren't you? Don't know who's having it Is he not having any? It's not sucking, it doesn't feel like it's sucking hmm. Let me have a go. Maybe. Okay. Gonna get a lot of these. Hey, say hello, Leo. Oh yeah. Say hello. Uh, uh. <laughs> say hello. Daddy. Uh, okay, nice. He's a lot, he's a lot to you. Uh, <laughs> You're lifting your head up. You're a strong boy, aren't you? Uh, hello. Yeah, hello. <laughs> How are you? What's going on? Oh yeah. He has very little to be lifting oh, your head yeah. up like that, mister. You're a strong boy. <laughs> uh. 
Look at you. Uh. <laughs> hey, hello. Play for these. Play for these at home. Yeah. I see you when you find it. Daddy, can you all change with me? What are you doing? What? You want to change the festival? This country, huh? I just put in a clean sleep suit on you, aren't we? Because the other one got a little bit wet. That's yeah. Yeah, but that's it. It's a bit short, Oh, don't you pull from wires, mister. Eh. <laughs> Rock you to sleep before we go, won't we? Yeah, rock you to sleep and then we'll go. Mm -hmm. Put your little hat on. You don't get cold. Yeah, no, it's been falling at this place. It's been a little warm. Yeah, that is. That's maybe the air will put you more, actually. I want the elbow to be more better free. I got mittens in there, so you need to get mittens. Yeah, I've got mittens. Not much of mittens for this outfit, it is. Yeah. That's better off for your hand. I think this was an Aldi outfit. Hmm, I love the fit. I should get it. Yeah, I think it's smaller. Alright, let's get these. So. So it's now half one and we've just got back from feeding Leo. Um, he had 25 mils of his bottle but he's also breastfed for about 10 to 15 minutes but on and off he doesn't suck constantly. He'll suck for like three or four times and then he'll stop for a big gap and then he'll start again. So we never know how much he's actually getting from the breast so we always top him up with some bottle. So he had 25 mils of bottle which is um, express milk. I then had some breast as well. So yeah, he's doing really well. He was wide awake. It's the first time we've seen him so wide awake and he was really alert. He was looking around at everything, which was really nice because he's usually asleep. So at night he seems to be more awake. So we did try and get him back to sleep before we came back, but he just wasn't going to sleep. So we've had to leave him, which I hate leaving him when he's awake, but otherwise we're not gonna get any sleep and I need to express some more milk before I go to bed as well. So. We had to come back really. His next feed's at 4am but I've told them just to give him a bottle because by the time I've expressed this, sorted the milk out, put it away in the fridge, you have to go and put it in the fridge and sort it out, it's going to be at least half two before we even go to bed. So they're going to feed him his next bottle and then I will go and breastfeed him um, for the one after that. So yeah, I'm, Lawrence has just gone to sterilise all the stuff for the... Um, um, pump and then we're gonna do that and then we're gonna head to bed so I'll get back to you tomorrow now tomorrow Lawrence is gonna go um, home in the morning get stuff that he needs he's then gonna go play with Alice for an hour or two so I'm gonna be here on my own for most of tomorrow so um, yeah I don't know what I'll be doing it's mostly I'm just gonna probably sit in with Leo and feed him and stuff I'm gonna have to sort out all the sterilizing all the equipment and stuff which Lawrence usually does and clean it so I'm gonna be quite busy sorting all that out tomorrow so I might not vlog very much tomorrow until Lawrence gets back in the afternoon
so but hopefully I can truck vlog something and show you maybe where the where we clean all the stuff and sterilize all the stuff stuff like that a nice piece of birthday cake before bed while I'm just reading this book Hi, today is Sunday the 28th of April. It is about half seven now. I'm just having some breakfast. Just got some rice krispies. We um, got up this morning at six, went to feed Leo. So we've just fed him his bottle. He had about 40 ounces. Yeah, so he had about 40 ounces of his bottle and we've just come back now. I'm going to um, um, pump and I'm going to pump some breast milk and then um, Lawrence is going to head home and see Alice for a little bit. I will probably just have a bit of a rest because I'm still tired. And then I've got to go back at 10, I think, for his next bottle. Yeah, so that's the plan for today. Uh, he was really, really cute. He was nice and awake when we got there and stuff, so that was nice. So yeah, um, I'm gonna get to eating my breakfast. And I'll get back to you in a bit. Hi, so it's now quarter past eight. Lawrence has just headed out to get the bus to go back and see Alice for a little bit. And I am gonna have a little rest because I don't need to go and feed Leo now till half 10. It's quarter past eight now. So I've got about two hours to try and have a little rest before I then go and feed him and then after I fed him I need to express some milk and then I can have a little bit of a rest and have some lunch and then the whole process again so I'm hoping Lawrence will be back by I don't know lunchtime probably just after lunchtime maybe about two hopefully we'll see I have got some stuff to do at home and obviously want to spend at least an hour or two with Alice if she doesn't feel like we've abandoned her and stuff so yeah, I will probably get back to you in a little bit. When I go and feed um, Leo, I can probably show you, maybe feel, give a little video or something of him and show him. So yeah, I'll get back to you later. Hi, so it's now 12 o'clock and I'm just back from feeding Leo. He fed really well. He actually fed on the breast for about an hour, which he's never done before. It's usually about five or 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, he had a really good feed on there. So we've not bothered topping him up with a bottle. I'm gonna see how he does. If he does cry for a bottle, they said they will give him a bottle. So I'm gonna get myself some lunch. I just had a lovely little FaceTime with Alice. She's with Daddy at the minute. They went to the shops and they've had a little play and stuff. So she's happy with Daddy and Nana and Grandad. She's just having her lunch now. Um, so she looked really happy, so that's good. And. Yeah, so I'm gonna get some lunch. Lauren said he'll probably be back around two. So I've got another two hours on my own till then. I think it's Leo's due a feed around then as well. So I might have a rest or I might have my lunch and then go and see Leo. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now. So this is the little kitchen where we can come. A water dispenser for water. And then there's a microwave here. Coffee in there, and this is the fridge. So we've got this is our stuff here. The fridge, and we'll see for leaflets and stuff, plates and things. So I've just come into the kitchen to make myself some lunch. I've got some bread, and I've got some ham in here, so I'm gonna make myself a nice sandwich.
so I just made myself a little lunch. I've just got a couple of ham sandwiches, some grapes, an apple, and an orange. And then I've also got a bit of orange juice, but I've also got some like Pepsi as well if I need something colder. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then have a little break and then I'm gonna go see, go back and see Leo. Lawrence and I have got a nice little present for Leo off one of our family friends. So we're gonna open this and have a little look. Here's a little tag. It's in lovely Aladdin paper, I like the paper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna open this now. So this was the gorgeous little present we got. I'll show you a bit Got a little t shirt, Dan Santa's I Love My Daddy, which is really, really cute. And then these little pants. And a gorgeous little hoodie. And it's got like little horns on it. I think it's so cute. Like, it's in three to six months, so it'll be a little while for you fit into this, but it's a lovely gift. Hi, so it's now about um quarter past two. We did go and try and feed Leo at two, but he was just really sleepy and didn't want want anything. Um the nurse there said she had given him a bit of a bottle. He'd only had about ten ounces. Um about 10 minutes before we got there so yeah he didn't want it he is actually now back in an incubator because his jaundice levels have gone back up so yeah he's back in an incubator now which is a bit annoying because it was nice having a little cot and his little clothes so he can't have his clothes on in his incubator and he's on the phototherapy light therapy again so he's got his little mask on his eyes and stuff so yeah that's a bit annoying that it's come back again but that's what happened with alice as well it went and then it came back so when she went back on the light she was only on it for another three days so we might be stuck here for like another three four days which is a bit annoying because i really want to get home to alice anyway lawrence had just gone to the shop because we're running low on nappies for leo so he's just gone to go and get some nappies for him and see if he can get some dinner for us later this evening because it's a microwave. I think he's just going to get some like ready meals from Tesco that we can just heat up and have a bit later. So yeah, I'm just going to have a little nap before we have to go back and feed him, probably in an hour maybe. So yeah, I will get back to you in a little bit and I'll show you him when we go next time in his little incubator again. I didn't film last time I think just because I breastfed him the whole time and I didn't really have a chance to film him so I will get back to you later bye hi it is now half six um I've just woken up from a little nap and Lawrence has just brought me some dinner we just bought a um ready meal today so we could heat it up in the microwave and just have ready meal so I've just got like a roast um roast beef dinner so he's just heated out for me, just waiting for it to cool because it's quite hot. I'm not sure what Lawrence is having. I think he's just having a pasty and some sweet potato mash I think he's bought to go with it. So that's what he's having. Um, after we've had this, I think it's time to go and feed Leo. So we're going to go there. I'm going to try and get a little video of him, hopefully, because we haven't had any videos or anything of him in the last few times. So hopefully I can show you. And he's back in his incubator, I think I've said that before so yeah we're gonna eat our dinner now and I get back to you in a bit so this is my dinner tonight roast beef um dinner oh yeah I forgot to say my mum did just FaceTime me as well say that Alice ate all her dinner up they got us some little fish fingers and some little mini waffle type potato waffle things and she ate all that and then she had some grapes for afterwards so she's really happy she seemed really happy playing when he facetimed us which is good so i'm just glad that she's happy and she's not um upset or anything so yeah she's all happy they're gonna bring her to see me tomorrow because i'm really missing her well I'm, i've never really properly been apart from her and i don't really like it so i really want to see her tomorrow so yeah i'm gonna get to eating this and get back to you later I think he's waking up now, isn't he? It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Hi, back in a bit. Hi, 
Hi, so it's now 20 past 10. Um, we went to feed Leo a while ago now and he had a good drink from the breast and then he also drank a 25 mils from the bottle as well, which is really good. Um, yeah, he's back in the incubator. I think I did film a little bit to, just to show you him in there. But yeah, he was nice and awake. It was really nice giving him some cuddles and stuff. But so yeah, since we've been back, we, me and Lawrence have both had a shower and we're about to, I'm about to now do some pumping because there's not much left. So I need to do that. And then it'll be time to go and feed him again. And then we're going to come back, probably have a snack, and then we're going to feed him throughout the night as well and go down and feed him. So, yeah, I'll show you the next time we go and feed him if he's awake because I didn't really get to film much of him this time. So I will get back to you hopefully in a little bit. Hi, so it is now half eleven. I am just about to go and head uh, down to Leo because Lauren just texted me to say he's stirring so I'm going to go down to Leo, feed him, give him some cuddles and then I think we're going to come back and go to bed so I uh, will try and film a little bit of Leo hopefully if he's awake and, and alert and we can see a bit of him so that would be nice so I'll go back to you in a bit. No. Oh dear, oh dear, look at you beautiful boy, he's a beautiful boy. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 